yeah, I, I saw the film at London Film Festival, which is a long, a long time ago. But I do remember it. I do remember it. Um, and I was drawn to it because of the. I'd read that it was like a cannibal movie, and I liked the the cannibal movies of the seventies. But when I saw it, it's not like that at all. Um, what was it about those kind of movies, if they were an influence on you, or in terms of the cannibalism, um, you know, the, the part of the story that kind of influenced you to make the film in the first place? Well, no, they actually they influenced me in the sense that I tried to do the opposite. Because what interests me in uh, the way cannibals were treated back in the 70s, of course in Cannibal Holocaust and um, um, Anthropophagus and movies like that, that we have all seen, of course. And uh, <laughs> what interests me is that it's cannibalism amongst three taboos of humanity with murder and incest is the only taboo that is treated like it doesn't exist. And it makes me question myself because, for example, when you have murders in movies, happens all the time, let's talk about Seven by David Fincher, for example, at no point do you doubt the existence of people like this psychopath. You believe that it's possible that a guy like him exists and stuff like that. That's why it's so terrifying. When you watch movies about incest, and there are way fewer of them, but they are always at the Again, at the human level, it's not implied that um, they come from another planet. We know that exists, right? With cannibals, it's completely different, especially in the 70s, as you say, because they're always treated as they, from far away, like they are, uh, you know, a group of creature coming, coming from outer space or something, or like zombies a bit. And somehow it's it's like we're kicking them out of of humanity, you know. And it it got me thinking: Why is it the only taboo that we do not want to tackle directly, you know? And that's where it all came from, you know, the idea to replace they by I, you know, and to try to um, study and understand these edges of humanity that we do not want to see, and why do we not want to see that one in particular? I think it's because it's too close to us, and that's why we want to be so far. I was gonna say it's like it's like they were kind of in the seventies. I guess with these movies, they were put with zombies, and that there's something else, and that you know that that's how they that's how they should be treated. But in this, obviously, you treat it like a real, as you say, a real thing. But you also have loads of other elements in there, like so it's comedic. You've got the body horror stuff and all that kind of stuff. How much of a challenge was it for you on your first feature to put all of those things together? It was a big challenge, but I must say because. I, I wrote for three years this movie, which is a long wow. time. And the reason why it took me three years to write it is because of all this balance between the genres, you know, in order for not have one that overtakes the other one and for them to blend um, in a unified way and that goes in the sense of my character's journey, you know, towards her identity and her quest for identity. So that was not um, an easy thing to do. However, the mix of these genres for me is really my own language. I mean, it's the, since the first moment I started making shorts in film school, what I did without setting myself up like, oh, I'm going to mix genres, just like what came out of me was a mix of genre. And I think it's also because the movies I like the most in life are movies that take me from one emotion to another without seeing it coming, you know, like you're in a roller coaster. And I really like that. I like to feel full at the end of a movie. I like to feel alive, that I've been like crying, scared, laughing and stuff. Like that. Because this is also what life is about, you know. And um, and so it's, it, it, is, it's hard, it, it is hard to balance, but for me it's really a matter of how you see life. And I do see life like this mix of emotions. Let me ask you about uh, casting Godance. Mm -hmm, perfect. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Got it right. Because um, it's one of those roles that she has to really kind of throw herself into it and really be connected to you and obviously to the to the material. What was it about her? Because I know you worked for her before. What was mm -hmm. it about her that made her perfect for, for the role for this one? Um, well, there are many things. Uh, the first thing is that I did not um, think about Garance right away, even though we have worked together before and that we have established a, a close relationship in life. Um, but I kind of prevented myself from thinking about her because I did not want to be biased in the way I was writing that story. I didn't want to think, oh no, I can't do that. I can't make her do that and stuff like that. You know, I really wanted to write the story I wanted to write. And so I really allowed myself to not only th not think about her, but to um, uh, pr prospect amongst other actresses, you know, and think about other actresses and stuff like that. And when I finished writing the script, of course, she was the first one that I gave it to because Garance, um, apart from the fact that we started together, which 
creates a lot of bonds. She has something that a lot of actresses lack. She has a strong physicality and she knows how to work her body very well, even in her clumsiness. Because I'm not saying that she's a great dancer or things like this, and she would laugh if she would see this interview because she's really not a good dancer. But she knows what to do with that. She knows how to transform it in order to make something that belongs to her. That's incredibly important for me because I do consider the direction of actor being closer to choreography and music to a certain extent than to literature in the script. So that's why I have that. Are you, just finally, I wanted to ask you, I mean, this was a three-year odyssey to get this made and now you're here and everything else. Have you, have you thought of what's next for you? Do you want to stay in this kind of in the horror genre? Do you want to kind of spread your wings and do something completely different? I want to keep crafting in my own language, which is in this mix of genre between comedy, drama and body horror. And, um, you know, after all, it's only my first feature. So if I was saying, like, oh, I'm done with it, I think I've seen it all, let's move on. I mean, that would be really weird, right? I think I want to keep crafting that, yeah. I'm excited to see what you do. Thank you so much for your Thanks. time. My pleasure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!